welcome back to my channel oh good to see you it's been good to make content i really love making content and i really want to do more of it i really enjoyed the art vlog i made two videos ago it was so fun to edit and record and i think you guys really liked it too so i would love to do that more and that's kind of what this video is I'm laughing because I'm trying to trick my brain you know I um a few weeks ago like my stomach was hurting and I was like out and about and I couldn't really stop what I was doing because of my stomach so instead of like dwelling in it I just kept smiling and trying to trick myself in that into feeling that I'm okay and it actually worked I don't know what the science behind that is so I'm kind of trying to do the same thing with my mental space i'm not doing great mentally right now without like diving into the details i'm just not really vibing my day job right now and that's like putting it so ever so lightly so trying to find hope and like push myself into having better routines is really important because i found myself recently not finding joy in doing things so yeah i guess i'm a little depressed i guess i am depressed right now in this moment and i'm really trying to get myself out of it and to do so I'm trying to make space for things that i really enjoy it's so hard though like it is so hard when you're in such a low sp place mentally to find things that make you happy because you just are so down and it's just hard to get up it really is so I'm really trying I'm really trying my hardest to get up it's very helpful that I have a partner who loves me and cares for me and I feel very safe it's rough out here it's rough out here guys and if you're feeling the same way I I I feel you I feel you we're we're aligned you know um, and we're, we're gonna get through it and it's hard. I just wanted to kind of talk about that because it's just been how I feel and I'm trying to stay hopeful. I'm trying to stay positive though. I'm trying to get myself out of it. Um, and this video is kind of part in that because I'm forcing myself to do some things that are creative. I've been wanting to paint and I haven't been painting because I feel like I could be doing something more productive with my time and I think that's what's causing my like burnout ultimately is just like I feel like I should constantly be doing something more productive you know I've been watching a lot of art youtubers a lot of art vlogs lately and I've been just really inspired by the stuff they're doing some of them have such cool sketchbooks and really wants me to really makes me want to buy another sketchbook but I don't need to buy another sketchbook so instead I thought of this idea which I did in high school where we like took a book like an old book and we used it as a sketchbook so I've had these books that I found in an estate sale and there was like a bunch that were like all this kind of like printing there was like 
they all had the same publisher double day and they were in such like pristine condition and so i got two of them um one's called the moonflower couple and the other's called the walls came tumbling down and i mostly just got them because i thought they looked pretty so i thought these would be great for like a little sketchbook idea so i started with a moonflower couple and i first had the thought to gesso the back of one of the pages to kind of like stabilize the page because i wanted to do gouache paint on the other side and i don't know if that really worked <laughs> i think if i let it like <clears throat> i think if i let the gesso dry and i did like another layer it may maybe work but um, I just was too impatient and I just started doing it and pretty much I just made a little moon and a flower. That's a couple. And I think the premise of this sketchbook is for it to be imperfect and it to not be something that I really like harp on to be a beautiful work of art. It's really just something for me to like get color down on paper. And I did this the other day with my other sketchbook. I need I have I have plenty of sketchbooks I really don't need anymore. But I just I just like doodled with some colored pencils and it was nice and I want to make space for that throughout the week and like not work so intensely. I also have been loving still lives and it's kind of something I wanted to do um, in this painting. I have these tiny little canvases that I got from, I feel like I got them from the dollar store. They're so small. They're maybe five by seven. I've been wanting to paint a grapefruit. I am feral for grapefruits. I love them so much. I have this embroidery that I did like years ago. Yeah, I love it. And it says I heart grapefruit on it because <laughs> I loved grapefruit then. And I went through a big grapefruit hiatus where I wasn't eating any grapefruit. But now, in the winter, I've been eating one, well not a whole one, half a one, every morning. And I love it. I got my grapefruit spoon, and I just eat a grapefruit, and they're so good. And I'm going to be really sad when grapefruits are out of season. <laughs> but I'm really enjoying them right now while they're in season and they're plentiful. So I've been wanting to paint a grapefruit as an ode to show my love for them. And... I've been really liking still lives with just like vases of flowers. So I put a vase behind the grapefruit and like the scale as I'm looking at this now is so off. This is like a massive grapefruit <laughs> compared to the vase proportion, but like maybe just like the vase is set farther back than the grapefruit, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really trying to make things make sense. You know, I'm just painting. I'm having a good time and I'm painting. I'm using gouache, which is really fun to work with. It's like a matte, opaque watercolor. And it's been just a good time. Thought we could take a moment to talk about books, have a little book segment. So I just finished Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Mass. This is the third book in the Akatar series. I finished it on my Kindle, but I definitely want to go back into this bad boy and like highlight some of my favorite things. It was so good. And there's like some scenes I know I want to reread, but maybe that will be one of my creative pursuits this week. Five stars. I want to dive into the next one but I think I'm gonna take a teensy little break 
just to fully digest this and I think once I'm finished annotating it I will move on to the next one I know the next one is very short too but that's just kind of how I've been approaching the books because I've been been enjoying this series so much that I want to take my time and like let it be part of me you know I'm also reading A Shot in the Dark by Victoria Lee I've been reading so slowly like this book took me two and a half months the this guy to read and this one's even taking me a while I'm a little less than halfway and I've just been reading like a chapter a day or so Shot in the Dark has been really interesting it's about two characters Ellie and Wyatt Ellie moves to New York after leaving for about eight years she was previously in like an orthodox Jewish family and became like detached from that family moved to LA struggled with drugs came clean applied for a photography scholarship she meets a guy her first night there they hook up and next morning she goes into class he's her teacher whoa yeah but what I like layered is that Wyatt, the guy she hooks up with, he is a transgender man. So I feel like I'm being educated as I'm reading this. I don't know that much about the transgender community. I feel like this is really enlightening for me as a cis straight woman to kind of, you know, learn about these other avenues of life and I've been really enjoying it. It's been great so far. I'm also listening to Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Allerton on Spotify. I've been really vibing listening to a memoir on Spotify every month. I recently bought some books and these ones particularly looked super interesting. Uh, these first two I got from McNally Jackson in New York. This first is called The Novelist by Jordan Castro. This one is really weird and it's Jordan Castro's debut novel and it's about a young man who tries and fails to write their autobiogra autobiographical novel finding instead drawn to the infinite spaces of Twitter. Just like the plot seems so strange that I'm drawn to it. I also got Once Company and the cover is just gorgeous. This is by Ashley Hudson. I mean, that cover is gorgeous. This synopsis is strange. Uh, Bonnie Lincoln wants to be left alone. Girl, don't we all? She wants to come home from work, shut out the ghosts in her mind, and watch her favorite TV show, Three's Company. Bonnie wins the lottery and decides to isolate to a mountain retreat where she can slip into the lives of the main characters of Three's Company until her best friend tries to like bring her back to reality. Um, yeah, seems wacky. I am intrigued, to say the least. Next, I got two books from Barnes & Noble. These were buy one, get one half off. Sweet deal, for sure. Um, this is Cleopatra and Fr Frankenstein and honestly I don't know anything about this book. I've just seen it places. I love the iconography and the topography of this. I love the color scheme, the deep like cobalt navy with the hot pink. It's so good. I don't really know anything about this and I kind of don't want to. Like I kind of just want to go into this blind. This next one is called Swana in Love by Jennifer Bell and was really drawn to the synopsis of this guy. It takes place in the 80s and 14 year old Swana gets picked up by her mom from school or from camp and gets taken to basically like a cult in Vermont that her mom wants to live in. She seduces a married man. It just seems like a bunch of crazy shit that happens uh and i'm really intrigued by it i think it's gonna be something interesting so picked it up swana and love looking forward to it i think this just came out recently don't worry about me i'm i'll be fine if you were worried and if you're feeling the same way as i am right now 
you got this bestie. It's going to be so hard. It'll be so hard, but like recognizing the place that you're in and wanting to get out is the first step. If you want to see more of me, subscribe. Follow me on this mental health journey that I'm on. And if you want more people to find my content and see how cool I am, hit that like button. Leave a comment. Let's be here for each other. Thanks so much. See you next time.